backless pool and spa safety products. Simplified installation of safety vacuum release systems. Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Safety Act compliance. A commercial law raising residential concern. First ensure the drain cover is replaced with a, an approved VGB 2008 cover. Factless offers three models of safety vacuum release systems. Breather 1, automatically resetting valves. Breather 2, which require that the valve be manually reset. And Breather 3, electrical valves with automatic pump shutoff. All models are available in adjustable or standard versions with center or offset port installation. Adjustable valves can be field adjusted to accommodate for even the most uncommon pipe configurations found throughout the pool and spa industries. Standard non-adjustable valves are optimal for use on shorter pipe configurations associated with spas and hot tubs. Electrical valves allow atmospheric air into the pump pot while simultaneously shutting off the pump. Backless non-electrical systems do not require tools for installation. With the pump turned on or off, simply remove the suction side drain plug and attach one or both of the provided installation fittings to the drain plug port. When using the provided installation elbow, hand tighten it to the vertical position. Take the SVRS valve and simply attach it to the installation fitting, leaving the vacuum gauge port accessible. Again, only hand tighten the valve. Finalize the installation by attaching the provided glycerin-filled vacuum gauge to the valve. Backless valves can also be attached directly to the pump suction side drain plug without using the provided fittings. With the pump running, ensure the vacuum gauge needle is steady. Simulate an entrapment using a ball valve installed on the suction line in front of the pump. The sealing element should be pulled into the air channels allowing atmospheric air to rapidly fill the pump pot breaking the prime of the pump. Return the ball valve to the normal operating position allowing the pump to regain prime. A fabricated rubber test mat attached to a pole can be used to simulate an entrapment. Close all skimmer lines to isolating suction to the main drain of the pool or spa. Place testing element over the drain sliding it away once freed. Repeat above testing three times. If the needle on the vacuum gauge is erratic upon installation, simply remove the locking bolts. While holding the adapter plate, rotate the valve cap until the vacuum gauge needle becomes steady. For installations where the drain plug is at the base of the pump pot, a stainless steel swivel extension and offset installation port valve can be used. Breather two valves require that the sealing element be manually reset after the entrapment is freed. With the sealing element locked in the open position, not allowing the pump to regain prime, hold the valve and pull the reset chain, re-engaging the sealing element for normal operation. Standard non-adjustable valves are smaller in size and are optimal for use on shorter pipe configurations. Upon testing, atmospheric air should rapidly fill the pump pot, causing the pump to lose prime, freeing the entrapment. Offset installation port valves can be used allowing for the valve to remain closer to the pump housing. Breather 2 models require that the sealing element be manually reset after a high vacuum occurrence. Whole valve and pull chain re-engaging the sealing element for normal operation. Breather 2 manually reset valves are for use on suction lift, above water level applications only. Breather 3 electrical valves include automatic pump shutoff. Turn the power off at the main panel and mount the SVRS box on the wall. Open box cover and remove the most convenient knockouts. Attach the incoming line from your existing timer to the box terminal. Attach the power cord directly from the pump and then the leads from the SVRS valve. Equip with a three minute time delay restart a manual restart button is conveniently located on the outside of the box. Once wired, attach one or both of the provided installation fittings to the suction side drain plug port and hand tighten the valve to the fitting leaving the vacuum gauge port accessible. Care should be given not to twist the valve wires during installation to protect electrical connection inside the valve. Attach the gauge and turn on the pump if it is not already running.
If the gauge needle is erratic, as seen here, adjust valve until needle steadies. To adjust the valve, remove the locking bolts. While holding the adapter plate, rotate the valve cap until the vacuum gauge needle becomes steady. For failed tests, adjust striker as needed using locking nut to secure desired position. With the vacuum gauge needle now steady, perform the entrapment test using a ball valve or test mat. In this situation, the entrapment test fails to turn off the pump. Adjust the striker towards the limit switch and redo the test. Again, the striker does not turn off the pump and requires additional adjustment. Once the striker is properly adjusted, the pump will shut off upon entrapment testing and an audible alert will sound. By pressing the manual restart button on the side of the electrical box, the pump will restart and the audible alert will then be shut off. Replace the valve cover and register your SVRS product by fax, mail, or online at vaclist.com. Simplified SVRS installation. Backless System Safety Vacuum Release System for Commercial and Residential Installations. Virginia Graham Baker Act Compliant. Consumer Product Safety Commission Approved SVRS Manufacturer. Contact your preferred distributor for product availability. Because safety matters.